Cool. I'm just kidding. I don't know why I have the aunt cardigan on, but we are here today to work on the 430 because it has to go to a track. And currently, in case you weren't wondering, the the airlines are still showing. There's a couple things in here that we got to get loosened. Apparently, I'm racing on a track in Las Vegas against some JDM cars. Now, here's the big problem. The problem is, is like I would rather take the JDM cars to the track than this one but they want me to bring this. So instead of me doing it myself, I also brought along some friends. Uh, oh. uh, it's not, it's expired. It's probably expired, just drink it. Go, 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 go. I feel like we're like hobos on the side of the street. I'm about ready to fix a Ferrari. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the only thing that we have to do, which really isn't that big of a thing, we just have to get the airlines tucked and then make sure anything that's supposed to be tight is tight. I wouldn't take it to the track, but we can talk to airlines. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get started. Now you might be wondering why not like the S2000? Why not the Nissan Gloria? Or even stealing Becca's BMW M4 for the competition, which by the way, speaking of BMWs, did you see the iVision thing that V, like it was like iVision D that BMW did at CES. The car was kind of meh, but the display windows were actually super sick, which is why this video is sponsored by the company that made those windows and I made it on YouTube, baby, I get to talk about this. Turns out those multi-window laser powered displays are offered by Appotronics, a company from China who've done things like the AR HUDs for lane information and self-driving cars. They've done things like the lights for the Lantern Festival over in China and even augmented reality windows for airplanes so that you can see like the weather and things like that without the nose smudges from the six-year-old that sat there before you. And if I'm being honest here, it's going to be feel a little bit like Tony Stark meets Gen Z if these things actually get sold to the aftermarket automotive market, but that is actually a really cool thing to kind of figure out because they've been able to put on display things for all four windows on transparent screens that can show you whatever you want. It's kind of pretty trippy and maybe a little bit exciting. So imagine the anime wraps, being able to type things out for the fourth gen RAM to read behind you and just how unique we'll be able to be with the car, like anime wraps and things like that. Now I can only imagine just the road rage text I'd put on the back of my Gloria, but I do want to say thank you to Appotronics for sponsoring this video and you can check out more about their information below. We are actually going to be tucking the lines on the 430 so that it's proper, so that it's good to go because it's not ready to go on a racetrack. You see these lines? That's a problem. So today we're getting the lines fixed. We're gonna make sure everything that needs to be tight under here is tight. And then we're gonna be switching out the wheels and tires with the track setup, which is the V3 version of the F430. How come you have a Ferrari flag, but you don't have a Nissan flag or a Honda flag? I got that as a gift. I don't even remember from where. Oh, did Ferrari give it to you? No, 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 no. We don't. <laughs> is it true that all Ferrari guys have horses? Where are your horses? In the back? I got two cows. <laughs> Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> oh. Nope, you're fine. Do you want to spot it? Keep going. Spot what? Do you just want to look at it? I mean, just, yeah, just I'm look looking at it, at it right no, now. No, 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 look at okay. it from the bottom. Okay, uh, so there's there. one thing. Right, one, Gels will work on anything on a car. He will, but there's one thing Gels don't like doing. He fuck? hates jacking them up, putting them on a jack stand, putting them on. That's one thing Gels hates. Hey, jack guy. Yeah. When are you gonna jack me? That's a new one, we just charged her up. Makita, why are you buying that shit, Alex? I didn't buy this, this was also a gift. Reduce. Everything over here. Reuse. It's a gift. Makiki. <laughs> 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 so strong. Oh, that, that handle gets close to that S2K, brother. <laughs> you sure you got that jack in a good spot? Are you gonna check? Nope. Are you taking this wheel off or what are you doing? I'm just waiting. Watch. You don't have to wait to take the wheel off. Why the f it take three dudes to take a wheel off a car? <laughs> uh, lug bolts. Yeah. <laughs> Super Weenie Hut Junior. Take me to Weenie Hut General. So yeah, lug bolts only good for drifting. No. <laughs> Hurry up. Careful. Here's the tricky part. Nice work. Car's all rusted out. <laughs> when we're done, can we go play with the horse? Hurry up. Think fast. Jesus <laughs> Bro, you're gonna start your pants on fire. Uh oh, stancy pants. This is how it all started. <laughs> Let me get some good B roll. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> B roll. <laughs> Who's editing this? I'm, I'm sorry. Is this going to Josh? Oh, Josh. I hope he puts in the belly roll. I got you, homie. Belly roll. 
Yours ain't as satisfying, to be honest. You need something more like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta review the problem here. Okay, I'll, I'll show you the problem. Yeah, look at This is stupid. You can literally see the airline hanging out from the fender. So that's no bueno because it looks ugly and the car is supposed to be on TV. But also, you don't want that ending up rubbing on your tire or it's gonna act like it doesn't have a jack underneath it when you jack it up with no jack stands and it's gonna so we gotta find a way to tuck it, but like Jules was saying, I think we tried our best when we ran these and there's not really a good spot in here. I mean, we can tuck it behind this, but yeah, it naturally wants to do that. So we gotta figure out a way to hold it over there. You know what I'm saying? The rear line is kinked right here though. If we can solve this, which is what I, would, I was thinking. Is it just this side? At, it looks like it's zip tied. And I think the zip tie is too tight. And then if we can figure that out, that should at least make the rear air up better. Cause I don't think we have a line issue back here. You can't even see the line. We're gonna have to get further underneath. Okay. A lot of what was put on this car was either torqued via dugga dugga measurement or hand tight as we've recently found with the seat belts that we just sent out for repair because those exploded because the car was crashed. And instead of fixing it back when I first bought it, I just opted to keep the seatbelt connected and then anytime I needed to put the seatbelt around me, I disconnect it, slither in, close it, and then it was never a problem to begin you with. You wash this car? This thing filled This Jesus. thing was just recently <laughs> detailed by Fox Valley Window Tinting. Unfortunately, I drove it immediately after they detailed it in the dirt, rain, and snow. <laughs> I'm just saying, if horse girls bought a car, they, anyways, Alex, what are you doing? Cars are no different. No, 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 what, what are you doing, what are you doing? I'm just taking this off really quick. Oh, okay. God. You don't need to take it fully out, can you see where the airline's running? Yeah, but that's a pain in the ass, because it's all dirty. That's okay. You can buy another cardigan. So here's what I'm up to, guys. I'm trying to uh, disconnect a cable from the fender liner for some reason. What does it even do? Well, what's the consensus, Charles? Look good. Good Don't car. Don't know what issue is. <laughs> <laughs> Look at, you can see there a little bit of the original, original color of the car. See, you can also the see blue? the overspray of the red. Look at Where's this. the red? Look. There's the blue. No. The blue would actually be kind of sick. Easter egg. Oh yeah, overspray. <laughs> That's, that's a little bit of meet the ball. <laughs> Dude, this shit looked like the, the shit I had to diffuse in Modern Warfare 2. Update required. Firmware needs to be updated in order to use the app. Where's your problem? Yeah, you, you just need have your air suspension updated. This update will remove CVT functions from your E Plus device. If you're using an Endo CVT, it will need to be paired with an Endo adapter in order oh to continue God. functioning. Okay, don't. This is a permanent change that cannot be reverted. But you don't have a How? CVT. All in favor of pressing confirm, say aye. I, but I, I will not vote <laughs> because you. did you vote? I'll vote after you. That is a really scary message. It <laughs> is. It if is. you do this, this is a permanent update. Can you, can you explain to me like I'm three years old what it's telling you right now, Basically Alex? Basically it's saying that the CVT, which is what they started with, the compressor valve tank, which used to be in here, that is calling accurate. <laughs> Hi, Alex. Hi. I have a question. I have a favor, if you will. What you got, buddy? I know that you're in a whole new life doing whole new things, <laughs> but the... Before you left at your time at AccuWare, you put a really scary message on if I were to update my firmware on the E-Level <laughs> system. That, for uh, CV, yes. for That's CV. That's a very important message. Yeah, so, <laughs> so if we have external compressors, we're good. Correct. Oh, okay. Are you about to update your car for the first time? Yes. <laughs> well, would you like some tips and tricks so you don't f this up and have a not fun time? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, we just got off the phone with Ryan, who not, does not work at AccuWare anymore, but he's an absolute homie, so thank you, Ryan, for all the help. Here's what we got figured out. So, the rear aired up really slowly, but we think that had to do with actually the tank settings on how much pressure was actually gonna get into the tank before it turned off, which wasn't enough pressure to feed the back, and it was just that whole thing. So we got that recalibrated. In addition to that, I also figured out how to turn off the adjustment mode so that when we're actually on the track, it'll stay with static ride height. It won't try to make adjustments, which would be really, really important to dial in the rest of the car. If that can stay static and tight, we should be good. The third and the most important thing that I was really happy with Ryan is that I actually learned how to customize the color on the ECU, which I made now baby blue. So the coolest thing to come out of this so far, right there. 
Um, we did get everything adjusted. So now all we need to do, we found the clips. We're gonna clip the, the lines further back because we're gonna try and get it to actually bend over inside the wheel well instead of actually pushing towards the tire. Once we get that done, we'll have the pieces for Thursday. In addition to that, we have the wheels coming, we have the tires here, and then that means that we'll be able to mount that up, test the fitment, get it back on the ground, and we should be good to go. So the boring stuff that you're not gonna see is I'm gonna try to check all the bolts and nuts and things like that, check the brakes, and then we're gonna see you on Thursday. And then I wanted you to film that whole thing, and then I wanna tell you at the end that you got a little schmutz on your nose and then by your cheek a little bit. We almost got them all loaded up. We, all, we got one left. This is the BBS CIR on their new Unlimited program. This is one of one. This is the first Indigo Blue BBS CIR in the United States. And we're putting on the Ferrari 430 so that when we go to banging gears, we have a lightweight, float formed, one piece <laughs> wheel. It's 20 by 11. <laughs> we're gonna talk more about it, but it's negative 15 degrees outside in Wisconsin right now. My ears are falling apart. Gels, how's it going? Is it gonna fit? Yeah, I just don't know. If wait, I'm wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to close my front door now. <laughs> oh, <my God>. oh. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Let him cook. done is putting some BBS's on this 430 and if you don't know the 430 has pretty much a Ford focus bolt pattern it's a 5 by 108 the only thing that can go on this platform typically is like custom stuff or really wonky designs and so I didn't want to do that I wanted to get some BBS's so I actually partnered with BBS they're releasing the BBS unlimited program which is essentially a way for you to put wheels at a various bolt pattern from BBS onto your platform so I have a 5 by 108 and the wheel behind me is a 5 by 117 now, the BBS Unlimited program is essentially allowing you to go from a 5x117 to a 5x108, but it's not just like an adapter. These are specifically built for the wheel and for this application. What I'm able to do is essentially get perfect fitment with a one-piece flow form CIR from the Unlimited program because I can dial it in with the actual Unlimited program that I have right here. And I wanna kinda of put my money where my mouth is with this program, which is why we're running it at the track. We're running it in the competition. I'm running this thing with the Unlimited program to show you, I don't think it's as big of a deal as you think. And I think it's awesome. And I think it's the next evolution, a very similar situation to when people went from forged one-piece monoblock race wheels to three-piece multi-piece wheels back in the 70s because it was an easier way to adapt to a platform of different vehicle types. You could take wheels and you can switch them on and off. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna see how it goes. I have to figure out how this works though, which is probably gonna be a little bit of a mess, but what is it? The whole car is a mess. The whole thing is f***ing wish out put together. So right now all I'm doing is we're just getting the unlimited system put onto the hub. Now, what you missed and what I didn't actually show is that they come with the actual rings to make them hub centric and also wheel centric. So you don't have any sort of vibration issues when you're actually throwing the BBS wheels onto the car. Now these have to be torqued down to 95 foot pounds of torque. We're not doing that right now because we just want to test fit the wheel and make sure that it works. But something that I thought was really interesting is we just got a call back from Baumgart's um, where they went to actually balance the wheels and tires together. And the three wheels, that one's not balanced yet either. We have to take that one back didn't need any weight. They perfectly balanced out, which is super cool to see. And I'm hopeful that the good news continues because once we put this on, I'm praying that the 325s actually fit. Because if they don't, I'm gonna be big set. What you doing? Well, we had the 30s on and those are way too thick. So we're throwing on the 26s that were sent over, which is not a lot of massive difference. Huge difference. <laughs> yeah, right? we're gonna need to get probably some 20s, but we're still gonna put it on. We're gonna see what it looks like, and if it's close enough, we're still gonna send it. It's because as long as the air suspension stays tight, and we don't have that much body roll, we should be okay. Keyword, should, maybe, hopefully, whatever. It'll work, just have faith. I'm going to be really honest, I have no idea if this is the beginning of a video, or the middle, or the end, but I am having an anxiety attack, because I woke up this morning, it's Friday, it's a week before the car has to go to banging gears, and I woke up and I looked at the Instagram, and I saw cars that are definitely more ready than my 430, which has me super nervous. 
I still haven't figured out if that fitment in the back is going to actually work because of the lateral movement in the car when it's on the track. I don't know if I actually have enough power to even be competitive. The transmission I wanna make sure is good. And on top of all of that, I still don't have my seat belts back. I have a scarf on because it's negative 15 degrees in this garage right now. I literally have a campfire going and I'm all by myself. Now, I finally have the tire off. We're gonna get this over back to Baumgart's, but the only problem is uh, I don't have anybody to help me get those there because I don't have a vehicle. Um, so what that does mean is unfortunately the car that doesn't have winter tires and probably shouldn't go out into the snow is going out in the snow. I'm saying I'm sorry, but this is an emergency and the glory has never treated me wrong. I feel really bad for those lips. Oh my God. <laughs> We are at my favorite place in the world. Look at that. The OGs. They're the only ones that will help me on my ridiculous time frames. And Nick is an awesome human being, so. Oh, yeah. hey there, guy. Look at this guy. How's it going, bud? Really whipped out the glory out. Huh? I don't want to talk about it, okay? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I'll be right up there. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Put him on a Bentley. <laughs> Popos, I'm tipping. Look at this. <laughs> That's perfect. What else would you want? Thank you, sir. Hey, appreciate it, brother. Thank you. The next day. It is now Saturday morning. I did not have a chance to put the wheels on yesterday because I live streamed for five hours with Dakota and Gels and it was hilarious. It made me feel a lot better. Unfortunately, the pressure is still on the car. So we're gonna get the wheels and tires fitted. I'm gonna get everything torqued down, make sure the fitment is good today because that will be the biggest thing. I still don't have the seatbelts back yet. I'm not entirely sure why it's taking so long. They got there in two days and it's been four to get back. So let's hope that they didn't get lost or something because I'm gonna need those for next week, Saturday. So I went through and I tightened everything down. So I just wanted to take a look and make sure that everything back here was actually okay. So I double checked to make sure, obviously the mounting for the universal air strut is tight. Got that thing locked in. This one was a little loose, um, but obviously just probably not torque to spec. Went through. All of like just the, the suspension bits, the lower control arms, things like that. I checked to make sure the sensors were good, that they're tight, that they're pretty much all set. I walked through the new fan system because if you guys remember, this had a heating issue. So we got a new actual radiator system put in here. This is aftermarket and it blows way harder than the OEM system, which is awesome because these things do like to get hot. Um, and then outside of that, just double checked, cleaned up the brakes, put the actual first part of the uh, unlimited system on, and then we're gonna put the wheel on. All right, let's see what it looks like. Moment of truth. A little faster than I wanted. Oh my God. That looks so good. <laughs> Let's go. 